if uh, you do want to use the TP-Link default SSID, TP-Link 1 E0 and the TP-Link 1 E5G, and you want to change your own SSID, okay? I show you how. Let's go. Your desktop PC, the cable, the LAN cable connect to this access point. Okay, this is a cable PC. Okay, already connect to this desktop. So what I'm going to do is I unplug this one. Okay, and this is an access point. Okay, unplug access point. Okay, connect. Light is on now. Right now, you can see here no internet access. And uh, you want to access to the access point device, you in this yo yo, you key in tplinkap.net, then enter. Okay, just wait for a while. tplinkap.net is not connected. We do it again. tp-link-ap.net Okay Unsupport browser Please. Okay. I use Firefox to log in I key in tp-link-ap.net to log in to this access point. Okay. Okay, I managed to log in and uh, this is the first time I ask for the password. Okay, so I just simply put the password 11211121. Can you use 1, 2, 32 character, alpha character, number, symbol. Don't care what you can I use it. 11121. Okay. I just use it one to one to make it simple. Okay, let's get start. Save a password. Okay, okay, I save lah. So we are using this device as an access point. So we choose this one access point. Transform your existing wire network into wireless. Okay, I'm using this one. This one range extender. Extender your existing wireless network by relaying wireless signal means that he use wireless like make a bridge extend the wireless to make another site a uh, get more excellent wi-fi so now this is the access point transform your existing wire network into wire okay we want to change the ssid name we just click next okay yeah can you see this one tp link underscore I just put the name super two four two four is two by four gigahertz. Okay, and the password I just put one one two one 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 two one. Very simple. I think nobody know about it. And for the five gigahertz one, I same thing. I put to super five. Yeah, and the password. Use the same one one two one 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 two one. Okay, I want to hide or not? No, I just leave it. I put the next. Okay, then come to here, obtain an IP address automatically. Yeah, leave it next. Okay, then save. Okay, just wait for a while until come to 100% 99% 100% now you can see 
internet is not connected to my router yeah of course because i need to change the cable back to uh, the normal so what i do now is okay this is pc cable i unplug okay i connect it back to this switch hub and this yellow cable okay i connect it back to this access point now you can see this is a uh, the land is internet access ready okay can you see that and uh take a look of my take a look my this uh phone okay i use for two four okay the password still remember is one one two one 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 two one okay i done then i connect hopefully it connected okay it's connected can you see that it get the signal it's excellent signal uh, how about the super fine super fine i use the same password one one two one 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 two one okay i connect yeah same thing you see you can see there's no more um tp link default ssid that one what's the name already tp link one what e e zero is it i can't remember okay so now we have our own ssid super fine and super two four okay that is thank you bye bye